What is up guys, welcome back to another random battle live today, we are gonna jump right into this. Leave a like for me down below, subscribe if you haven't already, check out the links. I always say that at the end of the episode, but some people don't make it that far, so uh, check out the links to my uh, Twitter and my Facebook in the description down below. So, uh, here we go, uh, Del Fox versus Umbreon, terrible matchup right here. But we have a pretty fire team, this is insane, we have a Mega Salamence. Okay, this is looking actually pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna go into Dawn Fan right here on this Umbreon, and I do not want to get foul played. Uh, goes for a Toxic, okay, interesting. Uh, I'm just gonna go for a Stealth Rocks right here, get him up, and then uh, we'll play off from there. Goes for a Wish, and uh, Dawn Fan's getting worn down. Do I mind losing this? Not completely, but I think uh, I think Dust Tox here is just the correct play. My opponent's probably just going to, uh, yep, foul play, there we go. And uh, now we can do one of two things. Uh, I think Quivering is just the right play though. Um, I could have just bug buzzed, but uh, setting up early, it's always a good idea, right? <laughs> Let's just do it. Uh, my opponent goes into Crocodile, so he's going to uh, take this very, very big bug buzz right here. Are we faster? Um, we might be. Uh, I'm thinking about if he's Scarfed. I uh, got a bug buzz right here. He is Scarfed. He goes for the Stone Edge, gets it. He's not Moxie, though, so that's nice. I can now go out and Diggersby. We are Life Orb Diggersby. And I will just, uh, I can actually go for a Swords Dance right here, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. As my opponent pulls a, a switch out into Meganium. Uh, I'm not sure if I can knock this thing out with one return, but we will try. Uh, we are 516 attack. He's actually faster than us and goes for the Giga Drain. I'm uh, going to go for the return right here. It's going to knock out the Meganium straight away. That's awesome. Okay, so we get rid of that thing. Uh, not like I didn't have an answer for it in Delphox, but... It's all right. Uh, my opponent now goes out into Feraligatr, probably just to Aqua Jet us. I will switch directly into Starmie on this turn. And uh, there's the Aqua Jet right there. We do take that very well. And uh, we are Choice Specs. Okay, this is good. Uh, I'm just going to go for the uh, the Scald, actually, because it catches the switch into the Umbreon. Uh, if I burn him, I burn him. So be it. Uh, do get 32% off. Very nice. That was Analytics, so the next one's not going to do as much. I can now go out into... Probably Diggersby uh, on this turn. See what he wants to do. Uh, he's just going to throw up a Wish, so that's fine. And uh, I think I'm just going to... Um, should I just return? I think I'm going to Quake on this turn. Uh, get off 56%. He is going to get all of that back, but I needed to make sure he wasn't at full. And uh, now I can go in Immense, uh, potentially, and go for a Double Edge. Uh, or I can try to weaken this thing with uh, Calm Mind Fire Blasts. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for Calm Mind right here. I might pull a switch into... Uh, uh, but he doesn't. Okay, cool. He just goes for the Foul Play. I was going to say he might pull a switch into the Crocodile, predicting that. But now I'm going to go for the Fire Blast. It's going to do a lot to the Zumbreon. 68% as you can see. Uh, he's just going to Foul Play us again. That is going to knock us out. But now he is in range of a Scald from Starmie. So that's good. I'm just going to go for it right here. Uh, and there's nothing I really want to catch on a switch with anything, so Scald is just my best play overall. Now my opponent can go out into the Crocodile, which is Scarfed, outspeed us, and knock us out with a knockoff, but I'm not going to let that happen. Uh, he actually chooses to go out into Banette, so probably a Shadow Sneak coming my way. I will just switch into Dawnfan. Hopefully he doesn't go for a Pursuit, that would suck, predicting my switch. But uh, this is the play I have to go for. I'm uh, going to switch into Dawn Fan right here as my opponent goes for a Shadow Claw, actually. Uh, so we would have gotten off a lot of damage there had we stayed in, but that's okay. I'm just going to go for the Quake right here. I don't lose anything by doing that. Goes for the Shadow Claw. That's okay. I'm just going to Quake, and uh, I think we are going to lose Dawn Fan on the following turn. Uh, but then we can go into Mence, and uh, actually, uh, I'm going to go into Starmie. I don't think he has the Sneak. He pr would have probably gone for it, so I'm just going to Scald. Goes for the Destiny Bond. Okay, so that sucks. But uh, now we have a Salamence in the back over here. Um, not sure if I can take Crocodile's uh, Stone Edge. We will see. Uh, he actually chooses to go out and for Alligator, so that's okay. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Double Edge. He might think we're Scarfed our ourselves and that he just loses here, so we'll see. Uh, he might want to go for an Ice Punch. But we are Mega Mence, so I know Mega Mence does gain a little bit of bulk, I believe, when a Mega Evolves. Let's actually check that out. Let's see what happens to, to Mence. So let's do Salamence uh, versus Mega Salamence. Uh, we can see it right here, actually. Yeah, it gains a lot of defense, actually. It goes to 130. That's actually pretty insane. So I think we can actually take the Stone Edge. We will see, though. As my opponent is just going to let his Feraligator go down right there, we are going to take a little bit of recoil. And I think I have to play off some misses from Stone Edge uh, and just go for Roosts, honestly. Uh, he does get the Intimidate drop. 
Uh, maybe I can stall out the stone edges. He does land the first one. That's going to do 48%. That's absolutely nothing. We're going to roost it off. Uh, we're just going to roost again and uh, wait until this thing runs out of stone edges because it will eventually. And uh, then we'll start attacking. Uh, gets off another one right there. Hopefully he doesn't crit us because that would suck. Uh, actually, it wouldn't take us out. It would only do about um, max like 65, 70. Uh, so we are stalling out these stone edges. Just going to keep roosting. As he keeps going for it, he does get the crit on that turn, but we are able to live. Hopefully he doesn't get another one. Can he miss one? That would be awesome. Uh, he goes into Zatu, that's okay. Uh, I'm just going to go for the double edge right here. Should be faster than this thing. Uh, and not able to knock it out because of the, uh, the drop, but he's going to go for a Toxic. I do not have Refresh on this thing, so I do just have to go for... I could probably actually go for a Fire Blast. We'll see, though. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for the Fire Blast. I know I risked the miss there, but I don't want to take the recoil from the double edge. Any more damage than I need to is bad. Uh, my opponent goes into Crocodile, has two stone edges left, but the Toxic is going to start we uh, wearing me down. I have to hope he goes for the double uh, for the uh, stone edge, and I'm going to roost right here. Let's see what he does, because uh, we already know that knockoff's not going to do too much. Uh, Earthquake doesn't hit us, so we'll see though. Uh, he does go for the edge, he's going to get 49% off right there, and if he can just miss one we would be okay just miss one man come on he hits every single stone edge and even gets a crit off of one of them so that sucks uh we would have been able to live there he would have struggled and uh i would have roosted off probably two turns and then gone for the double edge which would have more than likely knocked out the uh, crocodile from the range it was at after two struggles so uh once again here we have a terrible matchup luckily though we are focus sash so i'm just gonna get up webs with this cricket tune right here and uh this guy's not missing edges either. Brings me down to my sash. I am just uh, going to get up the webs, and now he's more than likely just going to close combat. I'm actually going to go into Skarmory right here. I'm going to keep this Krikatoon alive. It's a little bit longer in case he has defog. I can get those back up later. Let's go for the EQ, which is awesome. We are going to go for our rocks now, and uh, hopefully he doesn't switch into a defogger here. Stone Edge isn't going to do that much. It's life orb. It's not banded or anything, and we are max defense, it seems like. So this is going to bounce off if he, do, if he does choose to stay in and go for it. But instead he goes into Rotom, which is a good play. Uh, glad I kept the Krikatoon, because now we can either sack that or go into something else. Uh, I think Semisage is actually uh, relatively safe uh, on the electric move. He actually chooses to go for Shadow Ball, so good play. He's Life Orb as well. Um, I'm just going to switch back into Krikatoon now. I'm going to keep the Semisage alive. I think it outspeeds Terrakion. I might be wrong, though. We'll see. Goes for another Shadow Ball. I'm going to go into Sylveon right here. Nothing this thing can really threaten me with. I'm just going to go for the Wish, actually, as my opponent goes for a Volt Switch, which is cool. i uh, going to take that uh, extra Life Orb damage, and we are going to get this Wish off and potentially be able to pass it into Semisage, depending on what he goes into. Um, I'm assuming the Terrakion is going to come in to try to... Um, oh, maybe not, actually. goes into Delcaddy. This thing can actually hit me pretty hard. Um, but I am just going to go for the Calm Mind here. See how much damage this thing can do to me. Uh, if it goes for a return... Might do a little bit. We'll see. Uh, goes for the Thunder Wave, though. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I have a Calm Mind up now. I'm going to go for Hyper Voice, and nothing wants to switch in. At least I don't think so. <laughs> we'll see. Goes for the Double Edge. Does less than half, and uh, we do get fully paralyzed, unfortunately. Uh, I'm just going to try to Hyper Voice again. That really sucks, man. Can we get something going our way? Please don't get fully parried again. Thank you. Goodbye, Delcaddy. When a Sylveon has to take out a Delcaddy, that's, that's not a good sign. Uh, things aren't going right, but uh, Rotom does come back in, so it is going to take an extra Life Orb hit. I don't think it can knock us out with anything, honestly, so I'm just going to Hyper Voice. Uh, yeah, exactly, that Shadow Bolt fails to knock us out, and we do break through Para once again and knock out the Rotom, so awesome. Uh, now, I don't know if he's going to want to reveal another Mon here. We'll see. Go into like um, like a very weak special attacking Dark type. That's not the Dark type I wanted to see. <laughs> um... Moltres and Cresselia both lose to this thing. Uh, I have to Hyper Voice right here on his Protect. Uh, I have to go for it again. He's not Speed Boost, actually. Or is he? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He got his Speed back from the drop uh, from the Sticky Webs. That's, that makes sense. All right. So let's see. He goes for Waterfall. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to go out into Skarmory as I can pretty much wall this thing, hopefully. Um, let's go for the Brave Bird because this thing is very frail. And if he wants to switch out, then he takes another speed drop when he comes back in. He actually chooses to Mega Evolve and go for the Crunch. That's going to do less than half. We are going to go for a Brave Bird. However, now we are in range of another one. So that's not good. Um, 
I don't know if a non-boosted Crunch can take out Cresselia, though. So I'm gonna, just gonna sack Semisage right here, I think, because Moltres actually still has some viability, potentially, for the things in the back. Uh, I'm just gonna sack that off, and then we're gonna go into Cress, and we are going to Moonblast. We should be able to live this, uh, because we are very defensive, and we do. He's not gonna defense drop either, which is cool. And uh, that thing's going down. I can heal up Crest later on a slower Mon as well, so I have to think about how I'm going to play this. It's a very annoying wall core we have going on right here between Skarm and, uh, and Cresselia. Uh, my opponent chooses to go out into Barbarical. Okay. Uh, probably going to Shell Smash right here. Uh, I'm actually just going to go for the Toxic on this turn. And uh, wear this thing down slowly. He just does go for the Stone Edge, actually. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go into Skarmory. I should be able to live this thing's Stone Edge. It's not too, too strong. I am just going to go for the Roost on this turn. I cannot go into Moltres, obviously, because both this thing's stabs hit me for super effective damage. He is going to miss the edge, which is awesome. Finally, something going our way. And uh, now I'm just going to repeatedly click Roost, honestly, because I don't lose anything by doing that. Uh, he's going to edge. That's going to crit us for 41. Uh, I'm just going to keep Roosting. Again, this thing can't do anything to us. It's already revealed that it's not Shell Smash, so... Uh, he's just going to edge again. That's going to do nothing. Uh, we're going to Roost, and... Uh, Every time we go for Roost, we actually turn into a Steel type, so his uh, Stone Edges are doing uh, not too much because of it. It's resisted, so turn into a pure Steel type, of course. Uh, now the Terrakion does come in with a Speed Drop, and uh, I have enough Roost to stall out this thing's Stone Edges as well. We're gonna play this game again. Uh, let's keep going for Roost. Uh, we are actually faster uh, as he goes for Swords Dance. Okay, um, and Moltres should be faster as well, considering that. So I'm just going to Brave Bird this thing and uh, bring it down to 47 as he is going to go for the close combat and knock us out. Wow, okay. That was uh, it's pretty insane. So we have to land. Okay, never mind. We have Hidden Power Grass. Awesome. Okay. Phew. Uh, we got rid of two rock types. If he has another rock type in the back or a water type, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> uh, he has a Cradilly. Okay. So that's a grass type. That's fine. Grass and rock, actually. Um... And this thing can probably knock me out, can't it? With an ancient power. Yep, I'm gonna go for the toxic. Uh, this guy honestly had three rock types. And he was unable to beat us because of it. Wow, that's insane. Come on, random battles. Give me something give me something better than that. Don't give me three rock types against me. Give me three rock types for me. And why does my lead matchup always garbage? What is this? I'm gonna Ferrothorn here. This thing can't touch me. Uh, if he predicts that and goes for fire punch, this guy's a lord. But there's nothing I can do about that. Man, sometimes you have good days on random battles, sometimes it's terrible. This is just one of those terrible days where your opponent gets three rock types and you have like four rock weeks. So, gotta switch out here, cannot take a play rough, gonna give this thing some iron barbs damage. Um, if he switches out, that's just weird, because this thing pretty much walls me. But, uh, he's gonna go for the thunder wave actually, okay, that's fine. Um, I don't have gyro ball though, so I guess it's not fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna get up uh, hazards. And hope that it, okay, we got a Rayquaza here, and we get fully paired. Awesome. I'm just gonna leech seed this thing. This thing better not be Mega. Come on, please tell me you're not Mega. I mean, we should be able to take a Dragon Ascent. We are Rocky Helmet as well, which is nice. He goes for a V Create though. Okay, that is that set. Okay. Um, he does get the Speed Drop, which is nice. <laughs> we have a Delibird. Okay. We have uh, this Calm Mind Del Fox once again over here, and um, do I have a Stealth Rocker? Rackhounds a stealth rocker, okay. Let's uh let's just go for stealth rocks. Cause uh this obviously isn't going our way. He's going uh into Grand Bull. And um I'm gonna go into Delphox. On this turn, I know this thing gets earthquake. Don't get me wrong. I'm very well aware. He drops our attack. Oh no. Uh, I'm just gonna fire blast this thing, honestly. I need damage on it. And that does 72%, so that's very nice. Uh, he goes for a thunder wave. And uh, I think I have to Psy Shock here, just in case he goes into the uh, the Quasar to resist the hit. Goes for a Crunch, we are actually able to live that, but of course we get fully parried, because uh, why wouldn't we? Let's go into Kabalion on the next Crunch, hopefully that's what he goes for. He goes for a Play Rough, okay, so good play. Um, except we are Leftover, so that's good. I can go for the- oh, we have Hidden Power Ice for the Rayquaza, nice. Uh, let's knock out this Grand Bull right here. And uh, we'll see what he wants to go into after. We did keep Delphox as a sack, which is nice. And uh, we have two of the three, uh, two of the four musketeers, actually. Goes into Huntail. Okay. Yeah, I'm taunting you. 
I'm not letting you get up a shell smash. There's no way. Nope. Not happening. Not today. Um, let's go into Autono here. And uh, try to set up a couple of Calm Minds. He goes for the Waterfall. It's going to do a little bit of damage. And he seems to have left. So... Let's get another one real quick, and if he comes back, then we'll play both. We'll uh, we'll swap between them, but uh, I'll leave this one open for now. And uh, we can easily get like another two or three here. Uh, gonna try to keep this under 30 minutes, but we lead off with did <laughs> against Shedinja. Uh, we're scarfed, so we outspeed. Let's go for sneak. And uh, that's nice. I have a, a Shedinja answer, my own Shedinja. Goes through a Will O Wisp. Um, so we are not gonna die because we do have more HP than him. <laughs> we don't have that one HP that he has. Uh, his Focus Sash was able to keep him alive, but I'm actually gonna swap into Cricketune here. As, uh, he's probably not gonna- okay, never mind. I guess he didn't mind taking a sneak. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the Sticky Webs here. Gonna get them up. Got a Cricketune again, and this guy looks like he's gone for good. Uh, this guy made a move. What did he do? He went for will o -Wisp. That's okay. I'm going to go for Toxic now. And if he stays in, he dies. Uh, this is our game. There we go. And he just goes for another Shadow Sneak. So this uh, Shedinja is going to live because, of course, I miss a Toxic. Gotta love missing 90% accurate moves. And again. Great. How much did that Shadow Sneak do? 21? Alright, well, we gotta go for it again. We gotta go for it again. Luckily, we land this time. That's like missing two play roughs in a row, man. Alright, the Shedinja is gone at the cost of our Cricket Tune. Our Ditto still has viability because it can turn into a special attacker. We have another Cobalion. Uh, but I'm going to make the best play and go into the best Pokemon in the game right here. And uh, that does not work out for me. Uh, this is probably offensive as well. I think I have to go into... No, I'm going to Stealth Rock. That's fine. We are actually faster. He goes for Rapid Spin. That's fine. I'm going to Stealth Rock again. I'm just going to keep them up. I don't care if he... Wants to try to burn me or just keep going for spin. He's going to go for Hydro Pump. It's not going to do too much. Uh, I'm going to go for a Wish right here. And he's going to go for a spin again. And now I'm going to go for Rocks again. And because he has Hydro Pump, uh, he will eventually run out. So this is good. Uh, as long as he doesn't crit us, we should be okay. I'm going to go for another Wish right here. As he goes for a spin. All right. And uh, we're faster. So let's try to Iron Head Flinch this thing down. As we do not get it right there. I'm going to keep going for it. Try to weaken this thing. It has no speed investment? Like, for real? That's kind of surprising. We do get a flinch right there. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to throw it on, on another one right here. I lose nothing. Uh, we get another flinch. Going to keep going for it. He might have recover, but we'll find out this way. We get a crit on that turn. Uh, he does have the recover. Okay, cool. Uh, which means he probably doesn't have the ice beam. I'm going to go for stealth rocks again. Uh, as he goes for recover. And now I'm going to go to an executor to pressure this thing. As he cannot touch us. Let's go for the sleep powder. He shouldn't stay in here. He should switch. Arachi is at full health. Our executor is at full health. So uh, He goes into Lugia as we miss his sleep powder. Cool. That's just been the story. Uh, Alright, so sub Lugia. This is going to be hard to deal with. Uh, do we have any roars? No. Uh, so I have to break this sub as soon as possible. I have to go into Jirachi here. Uh, as he goes for a Thunder Wave. Yay. Uh, come on. I'm gonna go for Ice Punch. What is this set? Like, okay, he's Dragon Tail. That's okay. That I can deal with. Uh, I'm gonna go for Ice Beam, because it's super effective. He might think that he can just sub up on me again, but he can't. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Why are we Life Orb Quagsire? What is this? <laughs> what? Who thought of this set? How is this viable at all? Goes for another sub. That's okay. Uh, I'm assuming he's going to roost here. But I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. I got an ice beam. No, he's just going to keep going for sub. Okay, so he's going to let us go down to, um, to life orb damage. Um, the turn that he roosts, he loses his flying typing. Okay, I guess he doesn't have it because he just keeps going for sub. I'm not exactly sure why. Because he's leftovers. It's not like he has like a Salic Berry or a Pattaya or anything like that. He's going to switch into Semipore. It's okay. I can heal this thing back up later. I'm not too scared of Semipore. I'm just going to go into Executor. I nullify its stab. Hopefully it doesn't go for an Ice Beam. Uh, it is going to go for a sub. Okay, so this guy's sub happy. Uh, I'm just going to Giga Drain here on this turn. 
I'm not going to knock out the Lugia or anything. Okay, so he does have the Ice Beam. That's okay. We will be able to Citrus Berry up, Giga Drain, and get back a little bit more health as well. And now I can just go for another Giga Drain. I doubt he would switch out on a potential Sleep Powder, but he does. Okay, that's fine. Uh, he's going to go into Flygon. This thing's U-turn is quite effective on me, so I cannot stay in. Uh, I probably need to go into... Let's go into Ditto, actually. Because Ditto actually puts a lot of pressure on his team being a Flygon. Uh, he's going to go for a U-turn that looks like Banded Damage. Uh, we do have a lot less HP. Than well, maybe not, actually. Uh, my opponent goes into Starmie. We are Scarfed, so I'm going to U-turn out. Uh, get out of here and uh, probably just go back into Executor because we wall this thing. Uh, never mind. Okay, so he finally reveals the Ice Beam, but that's okay because we are able to eat it up. I'm just going to go for the Giga Drain once again. Gain back a little bit more health. And uh, he's just going to Ice Beam and let... Never mind. Alright, well, that's unfortunate. Oh, there's nothing I can do about that, honestly. Like, this is just crazy. Uh, I've had terrible luck all episode. Wasn't bad enough that I was uh, getting bad luck on the UU ladder earlier. Now it's uh, now it's here as well. This goes for a uh, Hydro Pump. He's probably just going to spin again. No, he goes for another Hydro. Okay. Now we're going to Wish. And now we're going to click Stealth Rocks on his spin. And we don't get fully parried. Yay! All right. Um, Hydro... <laughs> he doesn't even have Scald, so I can Thaw. Like, this is terrible. I'm just going to go for another Wish. Going to go for Stealth Rocks again. And he Hydro Pumps me and knocks me out. Okay. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to win with Cobalion. Because the Flygon looks banded. Um, I'm going to start Swords Dancing here. As my opponent goes for a Rapid Spin, that's perfectly fine. We should be able to outspeed the majority of his team. Um, his Why is his Starmie faster than my Cobalion? Because we're fully HP invested, I guess? I don't know, that's weird. Uh, I need to get to behind a sub then. Wait, I don't understand. Our Rachi was faster, wasn't it? At 194? I'm pretty sure. Let me go back up to those turns. Yeah, Jirachi was faster than Starmie. Why, why is it all of a sudden faster? I don't get it. That's really weird. Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to try to get behind a sub as he misses a Hydro Pump, which is awesome for us. Uh, I'm going to Swords Dance again. He has one Hydro Pump left. So even if he breaks our sub, then we get off another one. And we pretty much take out his entire team, hopefully. We don't know what his last Mon is, but let's try to bring this back, guys. This guy's name is Rosen Heat. Can you, uh, can you thaw out my uh, Executor real quick? No? Okay. I'm going to Swords Dance again. And now we are going to sub. Because he cannot touch us. Please do not freeze me. I swear if this guy tries to go for the Ice Beam Freeze. Awesome. Okay, he didn't get it. Good. Um, he can't break our sub. Should I just attack this thing? Honestly, now, like, I'm really annoyed. I don't think a close combat even takes it out. To be honest. Um, yeah, let's just go for it, though. Goes to the Ice Beam. We resist, of course, so that it does not break our sub. We are not able to break his Starmie, though. Um, and I need to get behind another sub now. As he Ice Beams and breaks it. And we are going to get behind another sub here. We have a few turns of leftovers. The Iron Head should be able to take him out here. The Close Combat did 80. Yeah, Iron Head is definitely enough. Uh, we Our sub is able to resist that once again. Enough to the point where uh, it stays up. And... Now it's to uh, to see if he has anything faster, and of course he has a Thunderous. Um, I mean, I don't have a switch to this thing, right? I just got a close combat. All right, we're faster. We're not able to knock it out, though. Uh, and he is going to be able to break our sub with a Volt Switch. Now let's see if he has anything that's faster than our Cobalion. Um, he goes into Flygon. What's this thing's max speed? 204? Yeah, we outspeed you. Go for the close combat. Please don't be Scarfed. Okay, cool. We're able to take out the Flygon right there. Let's see if the Simipore is faster. I really hope it's not. I don't think it is. Simipore hits 215, and it's always max speed. No. Uh, you're going to have Scald. Let's find out. Let's go into Executor. As he goes for Focus Blast, we are able to resist that, of course. Please give me my Harvest. No? Okay. All right. Um, doesn't seem to have any Grass moves, though. Right, let's go for the Giga Drain on his Ice Beam. That's fine. I'm going to go into... Um... I'm actually going to go into Ditto. 
I just want to scout what he has. Okay, so he has Focus Blast, Hydro Pump, Ice Beam. Alright, that's fine. Um, let's go for the Focus Blast right here. As he switches out into Lugia. So this isn't going to do anything to this thing. Um, as a result, I think I need to switch here. Into Kabalion. Yep. He's going to go into it as he goes for an Arrow Blast. So he reveals his last move. Can an Iron Head take him out? Is the question. Why has he been keeping all these moves for like the very end? Uh, Iron Head is not able to do it. And he is going to connect another Arrow Blast and take us out. Now I have to uh, play off of a Ditto winning with Arrow Blast here. It's 90, okay, it's 95% accurate. I was exaggerating a little bit. But um, we are able to take out this Lugia. And um, his Simipore is faster than us. Not his Thunderous, though. Not his Thunderous. Let's go for the Arrow Blast. We should be able to take this thing out. That's not a problem. Thank you. And hopefully we can recover Stalin with Quagsire. We'll see. As long as he doesn't get a... Uh, actually, even if he gets a freeze, that's fine. Uh, that's perfectly fine. I'm just going to go for the Arrow Blast here. We are faster than a Semipore, which means that... Aw, oh, man. So was Cobalion. Really? Alright, well, I'm going to recover up on this thing. I got to hope he doesn't get any freezes. Um, he doesn't on that turn. That's awesome. I'm going to recover again. Hopefully he doesn't freeze us this time. Let's see. He does not. Awesome. Like, I'm scared of a 10% freeze, guys. This, it's bad. It's, like, really bad right now. Um, goes for the Ice Beam. Does not get the freeze. Awesome. We are able to break the sub. We are a Life Orb, though, so we will have to recover up on this turn. He's more than likely going to sub. Yeah, okay, that's fine, though, because uh, now I can go for an Earthquake. I don't know how much this Earthquake is actually supposed to be doing to Simipore. Uh, he goes for a Focus Blast. That's going to do a lot more than Ice Beam did. And if he connects another one, he knocks us out. So, let's see. 70% accurate. Come on. Come on! Why can nobody miss their inaccurate moves? This is insane! I'm getting another one. I'm, I'm getting a win. I don't care. This is ridiculous. And of course, we lead Shaman against Groudon. Like, uh, We do have a couple of Ubers, though, so it's not too bad. But I have no switches to this. Like, literally zero. This is insane. I have to go into Cradilly and hope I can take a hit. As he goes for the Plume. That does 47%. Lovely. Alright, let's go for the Toxic. Precipice Blades is probably annihilating us. Uh, we'll see if he has it, though. It's probably more uh, more physical than he is special. I have absolutely nothing for this. I'm just going to lose to this Groudon. Like, straight up. Turn 1. Yep. Alright, luckily we are able to live that. And we land a Toxic. Amazingly enough. I don't know how that happened. Uh, I'm going to go out... No, that's not a good play. Aw, oh, man. Why couldn't I cancel? No! Okay, we're sturdy. That's fine. Um, we are able to live that, and I will go back into Cradilly. I mean, there's nothing I can do to this thing. He's just gonna plume again. That was the right play, to try to get a burn. Uh, I am Trick Room. Hmm, that could be interesting. Yeah, let's go into Malamar. And, um, I'm gonna go for the Trick Room. And with the, okay, that's gonna do a lot. Trick Room is up, and now he's at 40%. I'm pretty sure this is not gonna knock him out. Uh, but I can go for the Psycho Cut and try to get a crit, I guess. It's probably going to do negligible damage. I could switch into... Um... Yeah, I'm going to switch into Avalog, actually. I'm going to take advantage of my Trick Room. Wait until this thing is very, very low. As he actually switches out into Dust Noir, okay. Uh, I was about to go for a Psycho Cut, but alright. I am just going to recover up on this turn. I'm assuming this is like a Life Orb Dust Noir or Choice Bandit, I guess, because why not? And uh, already the uh, very first Pokemon on my opponent's team was... Okay. Avalug is faster. That's right. Awesome. Okay. Let's uh, recover up again. Cool. He goes for a Will-O-Wisp. Of course. Um, Shaman has Natural Cure, so even if he wants to Wisp again, we'll be able to... Uh, to do stuff, I guess. Switch out. Get rid of it. I don't know. I don't know what to say anymore, guys. This has just been a terrible episode, my opponent... My opponents have just gotten, like, every bit of luck in their favor. But, uh, Earthquake is gonna hit for no damage, and, uh, now I have to Seed Flare. Let's try to hit this thing, or anything coming in. My opponent actually chooses to sack off the Groudon. We land! Wow, okay, cool. Awesome. So we were able to, uh, to land our Seed Flare, surprisingly, once again. Uh, Mewtwo comes in, though, to, uh, scare the living heck out of me. 
Uh, Genesect is not faster. Neither is E-Killer. Let's hope you're X. And <laughs> let's go to Avalok. He's Y. Fire Blast would have neutered us. But we were able to dodge. Not that it's going to matter. I'm just going to go for a roar. Any special move is going to destroy us. Yeah, Fire Blast knocks us out. Um, and I have nothing that can take this. Okay, I need to go into Arceus and need to pray that... Um, I'm able to knock out the rest of his team. Let's go for Swords Dance. The Dust Noir is there, though. It's going to be able to take the Earthquake like nothing. Um, we'll see how much a Psy Strike does to us. Does 41%, that's fine. How many Psy Strikes does he have? 15? Wow, that's way too many. Let's go for the Recover. Of course, he has Will-O-Wisp on the Mewtwo! Alright, so he just has Will-O-Wisp on everything. Why is this thing so fast? It's, it's faster than Genesect, oh my god. Let's go to Shaman. We don't have a choice. Yeah, you know what, no. No, this is done, this is done. Next, one more, one more. Do not give me Primal Groudon against like, okay, finally, a decent lead that I can actually deal with. Let's go, Stealth Rocks. I'm winning, do I have a Huntail? I think I saw a Huntail. No, okay, I don't, I, I'm insane. Uh, Parasect comes in, whatever. Let's just, uh, let's just Ice Punch this thing. We're Iron Fist Life Orb. We'll be able to do over half. And we should be faster, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Awesome. 88%. Freeze. Something. No? Leech Seed? Okay, cool. Uh, let's go for the Ice Punch again. I lose nothing. This thing comes back in on rocks anyway, and so does Rotom Fan, so... Uh, just going to Ice Punch. Whatever wants to come in. Alternatively, Shadow Punch might work as well. Yeah, you know what? Let's go Shadow Punch. It'll be able to knock out the Parasect anyway, so I'm not too concerned. And I just wanted to cover any potential Ice Resist switching. He goes in a Rotom. Okay. Um, you can't Volt Switch on me, so what are you gonna do to me? Burn me? I guess. Your Hydration, Damp Rock, Rain Dance. That's not bad, but you can't take this thing on. Yeah, I'm just going to... Okay, he's gonna try to flinch us down. That's not gonna happen. Goodbye, crit, thank you. What else you got? Down two Mons, he's only seen Golurk. We can do this, guys. We can pull it through. Let's go. Beautiful Eye. You're just gonna knock me out, right? You're not gonna set up a Quiver? You're not gonna risk that? Just knock me out. Alright, there we go. Okay. That's fine. Now we go into Landorus. And we are the Swords Dance set. We should be faster than this, and we'll just go for a Stone Edge here. He wants to switch out, he comes back in at 8%. That doesn't bother me at all. Goodbye, beautiful eye. Next. Life Orb Lando is pretty crazy, guys. Somebody in our league, in the NBA, used it. It's pretty mental. Ho-Oh comes in, which is slower than us. And we land a Stone Edge and knock out the Ho-Oh. Next. Is he all, like, quad rock weak? Steelix. Okay, I'm going for a Swords Dance. To be able to knock this thing out immediately. If he has Sturdy, if he doesn't, okay, cool. Gonna go for the Swords Dance here, as he's gonna go for the Heavy Slam. That's gonna do 58%. We should, in theory, be able to knock this thing out. Yeah, there we go. Goodbye, Steelix. I don't care how bulky you are. This is a Landorus, and that's plus two. Entei comes in probably to E-speed us. You know what? I'm gonna conserve the 5-0 for you guys, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this win the right way. We're gonna switch out into Quillfish, get off the Intimidate on the Flare Blitz. That's gonna do absolutely nothing to us. And we are just going to waterfall and knock this thing out. After the Life Orb recoil, of course. Uh, of, of course. Of course. Uh, so we'll claim victory right there. So that's going to be the end of the live, guys. Again, if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out those links in the description. And I will catch you guys later. Ciao.